Hello everybody, I am Mike Levin and I'm going to demonstrate to you today Levinix. It's about a 15 meg download which I downloaded on each of the major platforms here Mac, Windows, and Ubuntu. So I just take that archive out of the, uh, of the zip file and you go in there and you simply double click the uh, script file that corresponds to your OS. The Mac gives you a little warning about it uh, being loaded from the net and uh, some people on the Mac might find they have to right click or click uh, alt click and uh, tell it to, uh, to load. You can see it's pulling a few things down from the repository here which is a one-time process getting a little SSH server and a little web server. We'll do the same thing over here. Levinix on Windows. Pretty much does the same thing. Drop Air is the tiny SSH server. BusyBox HTTPD is a tiny web server. And now we'll do it on Ubuntu. The way the zip file works with file permissions, you'll find that the first time you try, it's going to load into a text editor. So what Ubuntu and other Linux people might have to do is go into Properties, Permissions, allow it to execute as a program and now when you double click it you'll be given a few options you just want to hit run this is Ubuntu 12.10 the uh, exact process might vary between versions of Ubuntu or Linux and the very same thing happens here our SSH server being grabbed. Our web server, a few other credentials, and now there you have it, Linux on all three platforms. Now just a little demonstration as to what happens here before you even go ahead and get Python is you do in fact have a tiny little uh, uh, web server. So, for example, if you go to localhost 8080, you'll see this page here is actually being served off of this guy here. And uh, to do a little edit, I'll open a terminal window. And I will follow the instructions that are uh, written right here, ssh tc at localhost hyphen p 2222. You may be challenged uh, the first time and you have to answer yes to get the security certificate, but right now it's just a password it's waiting for. We type in foo, and if we do an ls, we can see what's there. We're going to cd into htdocs. We'll do an ls there. We are going to edit that file with super user permissions. So we're going to do sudo vi, which is our text editor, index.html. We're going to go in, down to the h1, where I have the word documentation. And I'll put in hello world right before the documentation save it and then just do a refresh over here and there you have it the hello world that I just edited in there so you saw demonstrated getting uh, Levinix out of the archive double clicking to run it uh, connecting to it with a web server connecting to it with a, a terminal window with a secure shell and uh, 
You also saw it run on each of the other platforms where it would work identically. The next step would be to enter 4 and to build this into a much more significant uh, platform with Python, uh, the enhanced text editor called Vim, and the distributed revision control system called Git. But this takes uh, a little bit of time to pull down all these elements. Uh, it's a bit more than I want to do in this introductory video, but that will be the perfect uh, stepping off point for uh, video number two. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope you enjoy Labinix.